motorcycle crashes can be quite horrific. There's no hiding that. It can be really upsetting knowing that when you are looking at somebody, you know that the kind of injuries that they get from these kind of crashes will change their lives. Those things do flash through your mind as you're seeing paramedics and medical experts working on people like that. Um, and we don't want that for anybody. We want everybody to get home safely. We want people to um, just make wise decisions on our road, no matter what kind of vehicle you're in or what you're riding or driving, just think about the rest of your life because one small mistake can really change things forever. Motorbike accident victims can be significantly injured and their journey can be really prolonged through the hospital system. The injuries that we might see can be really varied, but something that's really low speed can still cause significant injuries. We're very aware that we're just the first link in a really long chain of treatment for this patient and it is quite heartbreaking that this once fit person now has such a journey in front of them. When a motorcycle crash victim arrives at the emergency department, they're generally brought straight into the resus area where we have a specialist team that will assess them straight away. We hook them up to our monitoring, make sure that all of their observations are okay, giving them that reassurance once they are in a stable position is very important for them. Motorbike riders are obviously very vulnerable um, on the road and um, when they come off their injuries can be extreme. Um, I think also dealing with the families as well, um, the support that we give them is vital in that situation. The big traumatic injuries that we see that are often more likely with uh, motorcycle riders are traumatic brain injuries and traumatic spinal cord injuries. They're injuries that certainly have life-lasting effects and, and are quite profound in the amount of disability they cause. Being on a motorbike, a lot of uh, riders also will have significant uh, fractures which may confine them to bed or a wheelchair for a prolonged period and they're also more likely to have more internal organ injuries as well. It can be many months uh, before they're even ready to commence a trauma rehabilitation program and then the recovery and the rehabilitation from those significant injuries, we measure that in months to years. I guess the impact of this is, is going to be profound not just on that person um, but also on their entire family. Queensland Road Safety Week. Speak up for road safety. 